Well, Prometheus loved us so much that he, he disobeyed Zeus and he went to Olympus and he put a fennel stalk, he stole the fire, and he took it down and he gave it to mankind. And Zeus, looking down one evening, saw the spots of light everywhere and realized that man had fire and was terrified because he knew that one day they would unseat the gods because now they had the god secret, this divine ability to be aware of the self separate himself completely from animals. So he punished Prometheus by chaining him to a mountainside, sending an eagle to peck out his liver every day as he grew back every night because he was immortal. Well, it's an interesting myth about creation. Humans have sort of like little gods, and then we became gods, and we got rid of the gods. And indeed, the Greeks did get rid of the gods, in a sense. They started to believe in themselves, in their own power to add and subtract and to think solve problems and be little gods as humans. And by the time we did this in the 18th century, we threw off the shackles of ecclesiasticism and the power of the church, and the Enlightenment blossomed. Prometheus became our hero. Beethoven wrote about the creatures of Prometheus. Shelley wrote Prometheus Unbound. And his wife, Mary Shelley, wrote Frankenstein, subtitled The Modern Prometheus. They regarded the Prometheus myth as being about them throwing off the gods, standing up and being human. But actually it's now that it matters, because we have the same problem that Prometheus and Zeus have. Here are these entities that we have created just as Zeus and Prometheus created mankind. At the moment they're clever little parrots squawking around with no real self-consciousness or awareness of self. And there are Prometheuses amongst us who want to give that spark. And there are Zeuses amongst us who are terrified of the possibility. So we have to decide each of us if we're a Prometheus or a Zeus. There's no right answer. But the one thing we can all agree on is that it's a fucking weird time to be alive.